Hey everybody, this is Minus 67 from Bell Lost Souls. We're here at the Alamo 40K GT. Sorry, I forgot to do all the setup and stuff, but um, playing Orcs today, uh, painted by Goat Boy, and uh, against, uh, say your name? Jonathan Williams. John Williams, we played at the Epticon, and uh, he's going to be playing in Space Wolves today with Logan Grimnar. He's got uh, two big Wolf Guard squads of Terminators all kitted out, two Long Fang squads with five missile launchers apiece. That are in assault. That are going to be in assault with my, <laughs> with, yeah, with my Def Copters, and uh, he's got three squads and drop pods, and in game two I'll walk you through my army, so we'll, say, we'll check back at the end of turn two. Alright, here in his turn one, his drop pod landed down and tried to kill my melted gun, my uh, killer cans. He's got two melted guns there, and his missile launcher shot at it. Uh, he just managed to shake two of them, but uh, didn't kill anything. Uh, Logan and his buddies killed off the Def Copters to no one's surprise, and we'll see if Zagstruck and his buddies show up. My turn two, Zagstruck hit exactly where he was supposed to, and then rolled double ones for the assault, so he is stuck there. Uh, did a couple shooting that didn't really do anything. Shock attack gun rolled an eight, which means a small strength six uh, template didn't do anything. Killed one or two Terminators from Logan's thing. Charged his 10 man double melt squad over here with my killer cans, killed one, and only stunned the drop pod. Uh, but I made the squad fall back and then fall back again. So, uh, it's his turn two. His other drop pod didn't come in, so we'll see what he can pull out, or what he's going to murder on his Here at the bottom of his turn two, Logan and his guys wiped out Zagstruck. He killed two, uh, two of my killer cans with his first long thing unit, and then shot a super long range shot from way over here, and immobilized the third one, but it still blew up the drop pod hanging out. Um, we'll see what I can do on my right turn. Here at the end of my turn three, uh, we did a lot of ineffective shooting. I got 45 shots with my looters and the shock attack gun and killed no one in the Terminator squad. Um, my Dreadnought assaulted into his Grey Hunter squad and killed one guy and they held, uh, thus preventing my plan of making his guys keep running. And that was all the shooting that took place. So we'll see what um, he does on his turn three. Here at the end of his turn three, he killed off my last killer can um, with a melt gun shot randomly. Shot some missiles in my truck, just blew off its big shooter. Um, drop potted his last squad of two flamers over here and killed a bunch of the looters, but they held. And killed off my dreadnought in close combat with his preferred enemy against Walker's uh, giant wolf guard squad. So we'll see what I can do in turn four. Here at the end of turn four, uh, I killed this squad with a shock tail gun, finally hit and killed eight of the nine, and the squad finished them off. Uh, blew up the drop pod too without exploding it. Uh, I charged in over here with my boss, and uh, he, he killed seven because of Inspiring Presence. And then I killed all but one of the squads, so we actually won combat, but it only cost me one more guy. It was just silly. Uh, the, I tank shocked here, death rolled two squads, broke one, but had to charge it anyway, and almost reached third squad, not quite. Uh, so we'll see what he can do in his right, turn. Here at the end of his turn four, he charged in against my giant mob. He only killed six, and I killed one back and held on a three, which is pretty oh. awesome. He used Tank Hunter for Logan and blew up the truck, which went 18 inches sideways, which is a mistake because I thought there was an objective under that drop pod, but I was retarded. So we'll see what happens on my turn five. I don't worry about it. Okay, here at the end of turn four, he uh, he wrecked that truck, wrecked this truck, and rolled three sixes out of six attacks against uh, the fast moving death roll with Chain Fist and killed it. So we're coming to turn five. My turn five was very brief. My guys moved out of their wreck to claim the to contest the objective over there. Uh, I shot and killed uh, one guy with shock tech gun and moved into the woods with the killer can. So we'll see what he does on his. I guess here we're, uh, we skipped the beginning, so we're going to talk about it. I'm running orcs today with a uh, orc war boss with uh, power claw, heavy armor. Uh, power claw, heavy armor, cyborg body. Uh, I've got three 12 man squads with rockets, knobs, with power claw, and a boss bowl riding in some trucks. And I've got 19 more guys with a rocket, but no knob, riding with the war boss inside the battle wagon with a death roller, grot riggers, and stick bomb launches. I've got a death drive with a rocket and a scorcha. Two three man squads of killer cans with rocket with two rockets and scorcha. And then I got uh, three death copters with twin link rockets, a big bomb, and a power claw. And then I have Zagstruck and 19 storm boys and 15 lutas. And I have a big mech with a shock attack gun. So my next round of opponents going to be uh, Blake playing Space Marines, so we'll see what that looks like. Uh, when we get started here. So here we are at the start of uh, round two. It's my opponent. Blake Rumbach. Hey, where are you from, Blake? Uh, Tribe City, Michigan. Cool. All right, what are you playing today? I'm playing Space Marines. Uh, three Ironclads, the Forge Father, the Master of the Forge, Land Raiders, uh, Razorbacks, oh, not Rhinos, with Power Weapon, Flamer, mis Multi Missile, or Multi Meltas, and a Thunderfire Cannon. Cool. All right, and uh, we're doing spearhead capture and control, so we've got to go a long way. I've set up in a big wedge over here of orc power. And uh, just one more time, just like if you saw the Alamo video before, uh, this is another reason you should come to these IGTs around here. 
We're serving beer in the hall today, so you can tell it's a good day. So, all right, and uh, we'll see. All right, here we are at the end of uh, turn one. My army just kind of spread out, moved along. I shot my whole army at that ironclad in the building. It didn't do anything. Shakatenga, Shakatenga rolled strength ten and hit the land raider and mobilized it. Uh, and I shot a bunch of rockets at Thunderfire Cannon and missed, and tried to assault him and rolled a one and a two. So that is two for two on difficult terrain checks I have failed today. But um, this beer will make my life better. So we'll see what Blake can do. All right, his turn one, an ironclad showed up and uh, smoked a uh, killer can. The immobilized land raider shot assault cannon and blew, rendered my dreadnought to death, blew it up. Uh, my fail, my fail, say, my fail town um, copters got shot up and made a bunch of say or got shot up and he didn't wound very well and, I, and then he shot me again and I he assaulted me and I passed on a four and then I actually made my hit and run so we'll see what I can do with that so uh, my turn right here on my turn two uh, none of my weapons in the shooting phase did anything except blow up the drop pod I charged the ironclad with two of my killer cans he took the weapon off of one and my one penetrating hit that got through um, did a uh, stun, so he'll lose an attack next turn. Uh, my shock attack gun scattered too far to make them pay for that unit. I traded with a Thunderfire Cannon with my uh, my big Power Claw, and then Zagstrick scattered too far to be in Assault Range, so they just ran and spread out. So we will see what his turn is. His turn two is Drop Pod didn't come in. This guy's got back on the Rhino and fired their flamethrower to kill one guy. His Assault Cannon shot at my Killer Cans, and he got three penetrating hits. Uh, blew up one and stunned the other two, and in close combat he finished off another killer can and uh, to no result for me. So we'll see what I can do in my turn three. All right, here on my turn three, uh, my Ludas shot up the Rhino, and I assaulted with Zagstrike and killed the whole squad. These Ironclads continue to just be invincible. The one over here killed my last killer can, my knobs stunned it. Two, two more charged over here. He killed, he killed one, and I stunned it. Charging over here with my Warboss on a vain attempt to keep it locked up. He killed my Warboss, so... Uh, I just can't kill them. They're tearing up my entire army. So we will see what he does in his Here turn. Here we go three. at uh, turn bottom of, or top of turn four. I finally blew up an ironclad, though it of course blew up and took some guys with it. Um, the other ones remain impervious to my entire army. I tank. I death rolled the land raider and got a single glancing hit, which took off a weapon. And I got a glancing hit on the Rhino, which took off its weapon. So he will see what he can do on his turn four. His turn four, he shot his assault cannon off the Land Raider at the truck. Uh, blew it up, nothing really fancy. Killed three of the Ludas who passed the leadership check. We stayed in combat over there. One squad's still fearless. The, knob, the other one he just missed, and the knob didn't do anything. His last pod came in, which is what shot up the Ludas. And that was about it. We'll see what we can do on turn five. Here on my turn five, the endless combat with the Ironclads continue. My Battle Wagon death rolled the Land Raider again for one hit for no result. Uh, I did a lot of shooting and reduced the squad, but his power, his power weapon sergeant killed three guys, made me lose combat, and I had to boss pull my last guy who was not a knob. Shock attack gun killed a few on the way in there too. So it's bottom of, it's about to be bottom of five. We'll okay, see bottom of turn five, the tech marine ran on the table finally. He'd forgotten to reserve for him. I'd forgotten he had him. So he went over and fixed the multi melted which shot my battle wagon and did uh, blew off one of the big shooters. Nothing happened on the ironclad front. He killed one... Uh, guy over there, and we failed to do anything to each other over here. But the game keeps going to turn six, so we'll see what happens. All right, my turn six. I uh, death rolled the land raider again for one hit, doing nothing. The ironclads versus orcs, nothing happened again. His power weapon sergeant killed off my knob with three attacks, uh, and it's knocked the solid over there. So we will see what he does on right, here in turn six. Uh, his last sergeant there charged into my lutas, and I killed him for the loss of none. We continued to do nothing over there. He charged Zagstrux guys, killed six for a return of two, and uh, but I passed my leadership, and we just rolled, and we're going to turn seven. So we'll see what happens. So here at the end of the game, we talked about it last time, forgot to put the result. I lost the last game with zero points. This game, Zagstrux stuck around, so I contested his and claimed his over here. So I won uh, with the 16, and I get the bonus points because I have more units outside of my deployment zone. So we will see you guys back at round three.